Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest 1, a Sarian Encounter, version 2.2, I'll have you know. We've just managed to escape from the spaceship Arcada before it blows up, um, so I'm just going to press enter to um, accept this message which says we're now travelling aimlessly through the cosmos, space janitor, uh, for hire, I suppose. Brilliant. Um, look, console... Console consists of a screen and status indicators, a throttle and some buttons. The buttons are marked. No power and don't touch. Well, I'm not going to press the don't touch one. Um, look, space. Sure looks deep. Nice. Uh, there are definitely some funny lines in, in Space Quest. I'm going to save the game. Uh, because you never know. I, I may have messed up. Oh, maybe I need to press the auto now button now. I've already done that. Okay. Um, I don't know then. Oh, the monitor flashes. You study it to see what new information is being displayed. Oh, uh, do I? Oh, no, it's happening. Oh, oh, graphics. A graphics happening. Lovely. Oh, look at that rotation. Planet Corona. Dimension, I like that. Uh, dimensions, 3,744.3 kilometers diameter. Uh, atmosphere breathable for janitors. Oh, the Ornav system has locked onto the small planet of Corona and the pod has begun its approach. Nothing to do now, but hang on. I'm hanging on. Oh, nice. Look at that. After a skull-jarring landing, you peer through the shattered viewing port out onto the desert landscape. A feeling of utter desolation settles in. You're in a fine mess now, consequences. Oh dear. Right. Um, look. Room. That does not appear to be here to view. Oh, okay. Look. Glass? Not possessed to test the item. Okay, look screen. The screen is dark, not to mention cracked. All right, undo seat belt. I feel like we would have uh, take off seat seat belt. Done. Okay. Uh, open door. The door has been permanently opened by the impact of landing. Okay. Can I get out? Yay! Hey, we're here. Brilliant. All right, we're gonna save again. Um, so I feel like I probably avoided a few. Uh, extraneous deaths by thinking I'd probably needed to put the seatbelt on. I remember to close the door, although I don't think it would have let me go anywhere without closing the door. All oh, right, um, I seem to remember this planet bit being a bit tricky as well. Right, let's go left, or in adventure game parlance, west. That's correct, west. Okay. So, I mean, we might even have to stop. Oh, no. <gasps> you have just become a vertical meal for the local welcoming committee. Fantastic. Okay. Um, that's rather nice. Okay. Let's restore. Good job I saved, eh? All right. Let's try south. I just unhook myself from this, uh, this tiny escape pod. Okay, more sand. Are you also going to get devoured by a by a vertical beast? Yeah, that's a very nice animation. I guess there might just be one right way to go, right there. Let's have a look. Let's try this way east. I feel like north probably isn't, but we we can always try it. Yes, okay, this is, has some features. Okay, uh, hang on, pause, look, uh, rocks. See more rocks, see them all. Look, landscape. You're at the southwest edge of a mesa. It is very desolate here. Okay, southwest, interesting. Uh, can I go this way? Can I go further east?
Oh, I can. Ooh, nice. Look, Mesa. Um, I feel like that we probably need to get up on that bridge, don't we, somehow? I feel like that's probably a thing. Um, look, greenery? I don't know if they'll have greenery in there. No. Look, plants. We're not near that. Okay. Well, if I, what if I get over near this fern thing? Can I, can, thanks, can I then look plants? It looks, it looks a lot like spinach. Can I get the plant? You tell for a piece of the plant. Okay. Um, you should always pick stuff up in adventure games. Can I climb the, climb the rock? You cannot climb the cliffs or rocks. I mean, thank you, you made that very clear. Ah, but I can go up this path. Oh, and there's uh, kind of an arch in the distance there. I do like the um, the use of the limit palette. I like the use of the magenta for the the sky. It um, yeah, it gives kind of a clear sense of um, delineation and alienness, which is is good. Oh, hang on, that looks like a cave, doesn't it? Look, cave. You are following a path on the side of a cliff. It is rather desolate here. Okay, I ignored that. I was trying to look at the cave that I think is on the right hand side there, which we could also go and have a look at. But let's go over here. Um, oh, okay. Mm, and there's a boulder. Interesting. And now, is this. This looks a bit cracked. Is it safe to walk on? Not very. Okay. So we might have a limited chances to walk on that. Um, I do remember now that the, um, both Space Quest 1 and Space Quest 2 do... Oh, what is that? Look, robot. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, uh, while we pause, let me finish my thought. Uh, Space Quest 1 and Space Quest 2 do have almost like a survival simulation vibe to them, which I, I really enjoy. Okay, suddenly you see a large black metal sphere falling out of the sky, a Sarian spider droid. Upon touching down the planet's surface, it sprouts legs and begins its search for you. You recall from an article in Space Piston magazine that this droid is designed to seek out organic life forms and self-destruct when contact is made. Okay. Um, do I need to push this boulder onto a droid? So I think when it gets to the little two brown lines, which are below the patch of green there, is probably the point at which to push this boulder. If it does indeed get there. This movement does seem to be randomised, so I mean, hopefully that'll happen. Oh. Hey! It was not known that you are a master of the rock. That was a fine effort. Thank you, game. I don't know if we we're supposed to do that right then, but we did do it. So that's nice. Um, smashed a robot. Yes. Still got it after all these years. All these space quest skills. Oh, okay. Um, I do kind of like these peregrinations we have to take to try and get a, um, a character who can only move in the cardinal directions up a zigzag path. That's quite fun. I like, yeah, there's definitely a sense of exploration. But uh, this is probably not a functional screen in any way, other than um, there's a bit of um, a bit of geography to navigate. Um, look, just look. Okay, look view. That does not appear to be here to view. That was quite a... Um, look. Mesa. Ah! Oh, so the Mesa's not... Okay. Uh, look. Rocks. So you want rock. Uh, look. Desert. Uh, this vast silicon sea seems to stretch to infinity. What about look. Cliff. The cliffs are sheer and dangerous. Like my tights. Okay. Well, I think there was something here. Oh, okay. 
I don't know whether it's relevant to get to or not, but we can try it. I'll just have a look at the cliff here. I wonder if that this um, darker patch that's next to us. No, it's still, still sheer and dangerous. Okay, like some kind of arch. Look, stones. Look, arch. You see a pair of oddly curved rock formations. They point at each other as if to form an arch. Okay, I wonder if that's something. Is that something? Oh, apparently it is. Perhaps we should have gone in the cave. Who knows? Who can say? <laughs> I love the shocked look on <laughs> on our character's face. I think it's just because the, the shape of the mouth permanently is. But Okay, well, we're now underground. I don't know if we were supposed to go here yet, but we were underground. Amazing. I'm enjoying this very much. I love the um, magenta highlighting on these rocks. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Oh, I do seem to recall this section being quite um, perilous. I think there might be a tentacle underneath that grill as well. Okay, this is another large chamber in the underground complex. There's a path on the back wall which is not accessible from the bottom. I think there's a door over on the left past that geezer. Um, what if I look grill? Uh, look grate? The grate is made of metal and seems to be fastened securely to the floor. It is too dark to see down through the grate. There is, however, an odd smell emanating from down there. Okay, so I think we can go against the wall. Hug wall. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't seen if we can dance. Can we dance? I like to do that in an adventure game with a passer. Oh, you can't. That's disappointing. Um, get down. No. <laughs> okay. Can I just... Can I just... I can. Okay. Yeah, that just works. Brilliant. Amazing. So, <laughs> uh, no pro indication that there are any kind of uh, uh, stealth mechanics, but that's... That's what happened. So I think we solved that puzzle, uh, basically by me remembering that there was a puzzle there to solve. Uh, look, geezer. There is a geezer cone here. It is rhythmically spewing hot steam. So I don't think I'm in close to it, so I'm probably all right. Yeah. Okay. Look, wall. Everything down here is composed of very hard rock. Everything has a slimy look and feel due to the humidity. What if I look, door? There's a door here. Oh, open door. Try as you might, the darn door won't open for you. Do I need to drop a rock on that geezer to stop the, the steam coming out? I don't have a rock, do I? Um, hmm. Should we have a look at the plant that we got? There you go. This is a plant you are not familiar with, but it looks a bit like spinach, apparently. That's all good. All right, so I think we might need to go back up to the surface if we can. <laughs> Love this. Okay. And find a rock. Oh, hang on. Uh, this brown lump uh, next to some magenta might be a rock that we can use. Get rock. Oh, adventure games. You don't you have nothing on me. Right, let's have a look at this rock. I'm sure it's going to be worth it. There we go. This is definitely a rock. Amazing. All right, well, that probably indicates that we didn't need to do anything else upstairs or if. Well, didn't you do anything upstairs for this segment at any rate? Um, okay. So, uh, put rock, put rock on Giza. Is that adequate phrasing? Yes, there we go. 
Oh, oh, I love that plip sound. So, I mean, I think I remember this quite vividly, actually. So I think the little, I'm not sure about that little plip down here, but the plips up in the gallery at the top, I believe that's some kind of uh, poisonous liquid. So that's kind of a timed walking challenge, I believe. It's surprising, because it's, it's got to have been like 20 years since I last played this, or, or getting on for it. Um, and yeah, now I'm back in it, I do remember things, which is crazy. Are you sure you want to look at that? Oh. Mm -hmm. That's worrying. Um, uh, I think that might just mean that it didn't know what was going on, or possibly that I'll get sucked into the water by some kind of monster. Um, right, second cavern I'll call this one. There we go. Right, look, water. Uh, that does not seem to be in your sight now. Oh, it was just a general thing. I mean, what about this? What about pool? Look. Pool. Oh, hang on. Uh, I accidentally um, passed through that. You gaze intently at the purplish pool of liquid. Definitely purplish. The first real sign of moisture on the planet. The pool seems to have no bottom. The gentle dripping has a soothing effect on your frazzled nerves. They certainly are frazzled. What if I drink the water? I'm sure that'll be fine. Say so what? Oh, drink pool? Okay. Right, so let's walk to this little gallery. What's through here? Is there a... We're going to have to navigate through some of this scenery, aren't we? So, I don't... can we go off to the left? I think we can either go off to the left, or we need to go th back through the middle somewhere, through one of the dark patches, to get somewhere. Can I get this way, or is this blocked? That's blocked. Okay, I need to go back around here, I think. I do. <laughs> it's, um, because there's like a um, kind of sense of dimensionality made up of 2D planes, There's um, it's kind of like a, uh, oh, oh, I think we did something. Did we do something? Where are we? Um, kind of a sense of like a toy theatre about it, which I, I do enjoy. Okay, we're going this way. Is this good? We're in the background. I'm going to leave. Yes, okay, here we go. Oh, lasers. Ooh, what do we do with the lasers? Do I remember that? I feel like we need something mirrored. Hmm. You are in a large room in the cavern. There is a pathway above. At the south end of the room are two odd looking units emitting beams of light. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got, we have got a gadget. We're in on the, uh, oh that's the dialect translator. I think we need that for something else. So, not going to be that. We've got the cartridge and the I don't know if any of these are any good. Mmm. Okay. Well, I, you know what we should do, really? Is save it. Uh, so that can be second cavern, can't it? There we go. And then we'll just see what happens if we try all two. <laughs> that was great! You are now lying on the floor in many pieces. Guess those beams meant business consequences. They certainly did. Oh, that was fantastic. Ah, oh. Thanks, Space Quest. Right, I... Use mirror. On lasers. Oh, use mirror. Don't have the glass. Oh, where do we? Oh, did we need glass from upstairs? Did we drop our trousers and lose our glass? That's that's what I'm wondering. Did we need glass from the wreckage? And can I get back there and back here safely? Can I get out of this cavern? That's that's what I need to know. Because you know what we did save off just after we crash landed. So hang on, is this gonna Yeah, I think this is fine. It's just about navigable this um this kind of 
two and a half D scenery. <laughs> this is such a cheeky puzzle. Which you don't <laughs> it's all the motion controls which you don't think are gonna be there for for that kind of gameplay. Alright, can this thing go up? If it can't, we we'll have to reload. Okay, go up. Look, elevator. Looks like your standard run the mill pneumatic transport. This particular one only goes down, however. Okay, so I'll tell you what, folks. Next time on Let's Play Space Quest 1, we're going to be restoring to an earlier point and um, having a go at this planet again, with um, armed with a certain amount of foreknowledge. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.